Hey guys, of so this is Blair's the movie fan, and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing the movie Now You See Me. I have been looking forward to this movie ever since I heard of it from Jeremy Jones, and I expected it to be good. And oh boy, I wasn't disappointed at all. I really enjoyed this movie. So it's basically about bank robbers who are magicians. Now I'm going to start by talking about four of the main characters of the movie. The four of the main characters of the movie are Daniel Atlas, played by Jess Eisenberg, Harley Reeves, played by Isla Fisher, Jack Wilker, played by Dave, Dave Franco, and Marit McKinney, played by Woody Harrelson. You know what all four of those characters have in common? They're all fucking awesome magicians who are just rooting for the entire movie. Yeah, those four are criminals since they used magic to rob bank. But god damn it, they truly are criminals worth rooting for. In fact, I didn't want to see those magicians fail at all. I wanted to see those magicians fucking win. And the fact that I was rooting for criminals really shows how fucking awesome those criminals were. They also have a magic sh show with a lot of audience in there. And I'm certainly not the only one who fucking loves those magicians. All the audience in the movie also fucking loved them. And all the magic tricks that they did in the movie are also so fucking awesome. I loved everything that those magicians did. I don't have a favorite character out of those four because I did care and liked them all equally as much. Now I'm going to talk about Dylan Robes, played by Mark Ruffalo. Now Dylan Robes is basically an agent who wants to get to those magicians who robbed a bank and he wants to get them very badly. Now he is a guy who doesn't believe in magic. He was also very desperate to get to those magicians and fucking arrest them. I said earlier that I was rooting for the criminals and even though I wasn't rooting for the agent, I still think that he was a good character. He was brave strong and never gave up on getting those magicians arrested. Now the next character that I'm going to talk about is Thartius Bradley, played by Morgan Freeman. Now I will say without sound of a doubt that this is Morgan Freeman's best movie so far this year. He played as a very good character in this movie. He's basically some guy who, who for some reason knows how the magicians did it. And he is more than willing to explain it to ancient roads. The fact that this guy explained how the magicians did what they did doesn't really hurt the movie. In fact, I was very interested in knowing how the magicians did it. So listening to him talk about it was fucking cool. Now it's time to talk about the action. So this movie is about bank robbers. Of course there is a lot of action. And the action in this movie is fucking awesome. Well, of course, a lot of the action scenes are mixed magic tricks as well. And I liked that as well. And the action seemed to fit very well with magic tricks. This movie does by no means have one of the best action scenes I've seen. But they still were very entertaining. Also, the visuals in this movie are fucking awesome. I already explained how I love all of those magicians and their tricks and so on. So it's time to move on to my overall thoughts. This is not my favorite movie about magic released this year. I still like The Incredible Bart Wonderstone more. But that doesn't change the fact that this movie is fucking awesome. I had a lot of fun with it and do recommend this movie to anyone. I'm sure you will have a lot of fun with it too and for that I'm going to give this movie two thumbs up. Wow! Putting magic into a movie about bank robbery was a fucking awesome idea and it worked perfectly. Well guys that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and have a great day.